At a train factory near Germany's Dutch border, Siemens engineers are putting the finishing touches to a high-speed locomotive. They take about nine months to build, helping drive revenues at a company that's now firmly on track. To most people, these trains represent high-speed travel between London and Paris or Brussels. But for Siemens, they symbolise progress. Late last year, the company signed a contract to make 10 of these for Eurostar. That was swiftly followed by the company's biggest ever order, initially worth some 6 billion euros, to make up to 300 trains for Deutsche Bahn. Investors are loving it. Over the past year, Siemens shares are up by around a third, outperforming General Electric and Swiss-Swedish rival ABB. No wonder Chief Executive Peter Lerscher is smiling. The first outsider to head Siemens, he's refocused the company on healthcare, energy and industry, sold loss-making businesses like computer services and guaranteed German workers three years without layoffs as the country grew at a record pace. Simplification was what Siemens always needed. Uh, up until 2005, we were typically looking at you know, 11, 12 individual operating divisions. Uh, Lusha has introduced simplicity. Uh, they've introduced transparency. It is a far, far easier company to analyze and for investors to understand now than it was five years ago. Back then, Siemens was notorious for missing profit forecasts and racking up restructuring charges. Even after Lusha took over in 2007, he had to deal with the aftermath of a bribery scandal that cost the company more than $3 billion. Now, say analysts, one of his biggest challenges is how to spend the company's 16 billion euro cash mountain. They're going to have to focus on deals which are creative. As you know, you can destroy a lot of value by making the wrong acquisitions. At the moment, valuations have come back up again. So as such, it's going to be even more challenging for Siemens to find accretive deals. It certainly won't lack firepower. Siemens' war chest could grow to 25 billion euros this year as it sells the Osram lighting business and a stake in a nuclear joint venture with France's Arriva. Given the shape Siemens was in when he arrived, it's a headache Peter Lerscher could only have dreamed of. Elliot Gottkin, Bloomberg, Krefeld, Germany.